This is the Schmo with the pro. He's 10 and 2. He's UFC Bantamweight. Kyler Phillips, the Matrix in the flesh. Phoenix, Arizona. How we doing? I'm doing good, man. Just uh, training. Same old, same old. That's right, man. You're coming off that big victory against Marcelo Rojo. UFC 271 in Houston, man. Excellent submission skills. Yeah, I had fun. That was a good three-round fight. And then I got a submission in the third round with the triangle. Switched off to the arm bar. It was, uh, it was a hell of a fight. Now you're an up-and-comer, man. You got some big wins. You beat Song Gedong. He's got a ranking next to his name in the Bantamweight division. When you got to fight next, man? Uh, I'm trying to fight in July. Hopefully, if we can get something going. So that would be cool, man. Uh, I'm excited for that. The Schmoes here, and there's two pay-per-view cards in July. You want one of those or maybe a fight night? Any preference? Uh, honestly, pay-per-views are super sick. I just like I like fighting in front of a crowd. So if, if that would happen, that would be sick. And you train with a lot of train killers over the MMA lab. Who's your training partners? Oh, man, I got Casey Kenny, Mario, uh, Batista, Sugar Sean O'Malley, Jared Cannonier, uh, Marcus McGee. There's so many dudes there. It's just like coming up. It's, uh, yeah, surround yourself with, with great people. So it's good, good training. Very competitive at the 135-pound weight division, the Schmo thinks. And obviously, you got some of the best guys in the same room together. Yeah, it's a game of inches. You got to really take every step and try to make every single thing go into your advantage so uh, in every way every way you got to just grow every day in different areas whether that's different martial arts or mentally or more physically and uh yeah man i'm just growing every day and you've obviously been floating under the radar we're here at the matrix like building here in yeah. phoenix arizona man it fits the profile yeah i think it's uh it fit pretty well that was your idea right yeah. maybe yeah he, he, he came up with this little matrix spot so that's the schmo zone. Definitely the schmo zone, but without Helen Yee Sports on camera. She's behind the camera. And the last time the schmo ran into you was over at the T-Mobile Arena. It was a pay-per-view fight, and you're acting as the schmo's bodyguard. People are a little touchy with yeah, the schmo, and you were helping me out there. Well, we were up, we were up there at the, what was that, a couple floors up, but uh, right by the bar. And there was a bunch of random dudes coming up to you, this guy, you know, touching him. Oh, what's up, man? Pushing you and stuff. And I, I just had to kind of... My killer instincts came inside, so a little bit of Matrix, and I, I didn't do anything crazy, but nothing like Masvidal, but, you know, it's, uh, I have your back, bro. Well, you're sporting that long hair and everything yeah. like that. You're ready to go. Got the hair, man. Got the beard. Ready to go, man. It's, uh, Masvidal 2.0. <laughs> no, Matrix, baby. Of course, man. Now, how do you handle this Scottsdale nightlife, man, and also your training, too? Because there's got to be a lot of temptations around here. Uh, I mean, I live on the west side, so I'm not in Scottsdale, so it's a little bit further. So if I was going to go over there, it's uh, got to, you know, no drinking and driving, you know, being careful like that and stuff like that. So, But it's been good, man. I've been really uh, I've been having fun. That's right. And obviously the killer gorilla, he's got to be getting ready for Israel Adestanya, the style bender, man. How's he looking in the gym? That guy is, he has an aura of energy right now that is just like strong, but balanced. You can tell he has a really good balance and he's, whatever he's thinking in his confidence, it's no bullshit. He's in, he's into it and he's going to, man, might see him. I think he's going to grab that belt. So it's, I'm pretty stoked, dude. It's, uh, it's cool to see somebody like in your gym doing that and the level of, not just confidence, but the commitment and the humbleness and the just the way his mind is designed. It's cool to see that, man, and like surround yourself around that. It's, it's an honor to have those type of people in the gym. And you shared that same fight card over there in Houston with him when he turned Blond Brunson into Blood Brunson. But also in that post fight, Henry Cejudo and the Schmo called in, man. Yeah. And Triple C had some great things to say about you, man. And now he's re-entering the USADA pool. He's making a comeback, man. He's going to come to C4, bro. Damn, dude. I don't are, know. are you in favor of him skipping the line in the featherweight division and getting that title fight? Um, well, I, it depends if, if he's fighting for against Ol Volkanovski or 35s. I don't really know exactly how that goes, but I, I do think he has a little bit of favor for sure um, for being that two-pound champ. So... We'll see, man. I'm just stoked. I'm pretty stoked to see him get back in there. How old is he? He's 35, and I think he does want 145. Damn, that's sick, bro. I think, yeah. I'm stoked to see that. Again, like just seeing people around you and stuff do that type of stuff is just inspiring, and I want to do things like that, especially. And what about Sugar Sean O'Malley, man? The guy's all over the internet. He's deep with these uh, internet sensations. Yeah, yeah. He's all about that type of lifestyle. And obviously, he's going up in the world too, man. What do you make of him and what he's doing? And I've known him since I was 18 years old, that dude, or 19, uh, when we first came to the lab. 
me, him, Mario. Dude's always been like just yeah, balanced human being. He can like go do this, go do that, his his media stuff, but also he trains and does what he can in the gym. Like he does a good job of just balancing all of it and I think at the end of the day that's just that's his job and he's really, really good at what he does. And Tim as well, you know, their relationship, when you see somebody's relationship, that's what it's about. You see a lot of coaches with their with their um, their fighters or like a partnership with me, it's like Marcus and Hanchi and Crouch that I got there. When you really grow that over a period of time, it's like that thing is indestructible, you know? So what are we going to see out of you for 2022? We're going to see you in the Bantamweight rankings. What are your goals, my man? Dude, my goals are just like I, I take the top off of it. I'm just going to continue to be myself authentically, and uh, nobody's going to take that away from me. Nobody's going to be able to take that moment away from me that I get every day. You get this. You get this. No, There's no other Schmo in the world. There's no other Kyler. There's no other hell in the world. We just we do us, you know what I mean. So the fact that we get that is like, I'm just gonna be here and do that, and we'll see if something crazy happens. I won't be surprised in my life. Authenticity is key, and obviously you live the lifestyle of a true martial artist. That says that says it all right there. All gas, baby. Let's go. All gas. Final message for the Matrix fans out there worldwide. No message. You guys do you. Love you guys. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. Gonna sip on some coffee. Yeah, we got that, what, macadamia nut? It's pretty yeah, good. It's pretty good. Dutch bros, baby. Let's go. We're out. Bye.